Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Hyundai Santa Fe. Guys, if you have a Hyundai Santa Fe, you have engine light on and any of the following two codes. I'm talking about code P0014 or code P0015. Stay with us, we'll explain what most likely causes that and how to fix it. It could be, most of the times we see up to three things that can cause that, but actually if it's not any of those three things, you just hope it's not the last one because it will require quite a bit of money money and work put into it to fix it guys so stay with us and we'll explain what it is practically you don't need to remove your engine to fix that code guys uh, we have it removed because we'll make a bunch of videos uh, that will try to save you guys thousands of dollars so let's start on it now so this should work on Hyundai Santa Fe generation 2013 all the way to year 2016 guys with a 2.4 GDI engine. Now let me introduce you to the channel quick. Every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix practically anything guys. Why we do all that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. This engine, okay, will be completely taken apart, transmission will show how to fix almost anything on it another thing if you need to buy any parts or tools guys okay check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all the tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well that's where we get all our supplies from so this right here okay this is the engine and uh, before we start let me tell you guys if you have a Hyundai with a 2.4 GDI engine or other cars check our main channel how to repair guys we have helped more than 110 million people guys we have information that can save you time thousands of dollars so let's start on it now so <clears throat> before we start guys okay let me tell you now uh, many of you ask us constantly in the comment section below what computer we use for diagnostics and all that stuff so we decided to share that with you this is guys the computer it's amazing I'll put the link in the description of the video below so that computer guys practically it can pay itself off in one time use and if you want to learn all the fun functions that it supports check out the link you can see Hyundai is right here but it works on almost any car you can think of we used it on multiple cars Hyundai is BMWs Mercedes Porsche all kind of vehicles guys so with that being said let's explain now what uh, what can cause any of these two codes we need to guys remove the upper engine cover on that Hyundai Santa Fe so you grab the engine cover and you pull it straight up the moment guys you pull it up okay you can see how open your engine is you need to locate the exhaust side of the engine you can see intake is where the car gets its air from that's the intake manifold on the back side is the exhaust manifold now you guys have two solenoids that actually control the variable timing on your car so one is for the intake camshaft one is for the exhaust camshaft the intake is right here the exhaust is on the back side so when you have guys any of these codes okay most likely it relates to a bad variable timing solenoid okay on the exhaust camshaft okay right here you can see so uh, what can guys okay what can cause that number one make sure the wire is not broken okay anywhere not melted because it's close to the exhaust uh, not broken people will work on the car sometimes they will pull the wires out break them make sure it's not chewed by rodents mice sometimes in the winter time will climb in the engine bay they try to find a warm place and actually guys they chew on wires we've seen that happen in the shop especially winter time quite often you'll be surprised number two make sure the valve cover is not leaking oil and that oil is not getting in the connector in the plug right here because if it does it will interfere with the signal and that can lead guys to weak communication another thing sometimes the solenoid itself can malfunction and it can send oil this way that does not happen very often though number three guys most likely you have dirty solenoid or a bad solenoid and uh, we're going to go ahead and remove it sometimes if they're stuck we have a video that explains how to remove them uh, ours will come out pretty easy we removed it recently and uh, right here guys this is you can see the solenoid okay right here uh, but dirty solenoid can cause that it can be sticking malfunctioning not responsive and as a result it can result into this code so uh, i would recommend to clean it first we have a special video that explains how to clean uh, vvt solenoid on a hyundai santa fe so check it out and it will teach you how to do that if that doesn't care take care of the problem it could be guys bad solenoid and if you replace the solenoid and it still doesn't take care of the problem it could be mechanical problem with the engine or bad actuator 
for the camshaft gear guys so you hope that's not the case because you need to remove the uh, timing chain and all that stuff to replace it so those are the most probable things that you can expect when you have these codes hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time